making the car look so much more sporty and very aggressive. Would you guys go for this steering wheel or the old one? I definitely prefer the old one. Hello guys, I am back today, welcoming you all with this. Right in front of us we have the all-new 2024 model Mercedes-AMG GLE 53. But as you can already see, this is not a normal one. Here we have the all-new facelifted version of the GLE and here with the Coupe in specific. And in today's video I will be showing you all the new highlights of this car, showing you the entire exterior. Afterwards we'll check out the interior and then finish it all off with a sound check. So let's get it on and start talking about the GLE 53 Coupe here in specific. We still have the 3 liter 6 cylinder AMG engine producing 435 horsepower but we have bigger turbos giving us now 560 newton meters of torque back in the days it was 520 we do the 0 to 100 sprint in 5 seconds also back in the days it was 5.3 seconds making this the slowest amg which is super funny <laughs> We still have the starter generator, which is giving us another additional boost of 22 horsepower, making the GLE 53 Coupe a mild hybrid. And we have a lot of changes when it comes to the exterior as well as the interior. So let's get on and start with the exterior walk around. First things first, we are right now here in beautiful Atlanta with Mercedes-Benz in the US. Special thanks for flying me out, letting me film this beautiful US spec GLE 53 Coupe for you. Finished here in Hyacinth Red. I think it's Hyacinth Red. Maybe it's Patagonia. Red. Anyways, there are a lot of changes also when talking about the front. So let's get on and start with the walk around here. So let me show you some of the changes. The first change comes with the front headlights. Now new design as you can see we have a straight line and we have four LED dots. These are the multi-beam LED headlights which are an option. Then we still have the so-called Panamericana front grille with the full chrome finish here and since the C63 launch we will always have the Walterbach AMG crest instead of the star here because we already have the star right over there. Uh, with the GLE 53 we have some changes also in the front bumper making it look very sporty. This comes also with the AMG line making the car look so much more sporty and very aggressive yet looking more like a 63 because that's the strangest thing when talking about the GLE 53 in specific people who don't know anything about AMG or 53 and 63s in specific would instantly say that this is a 63 because it looks very familiar with it but there are a few changes when talking about the body and the front intakes in specific when it comes to the 63 anyways let's talk about the side and here we have it the coupe version uh, in its wheelbase is shorter than the SUV to make the drive way sportier also the look I definitely prefer the coupe I really love it I'm a huge coupe fanboy still we have these multi-spoke AMG wheels finished in silver these are 22 inches the biggest wheel options for the coupe I think really nice design lovely you can also go for the black ones but I would definitely go for these brakes in the background as you can see finished in silver uh, on the side we have the additional side step board and the turbo for matic badge here really cool we have no night package everything here is finished in chrome also here since we have the keyless go package everything finished here in chrome and the rear again 22 inches full finished in chrome really nice look i'm a huge fan of it and now it's time to talk about the rear let's go and here we have it the facelifted gle 53 coupe rear and as you can already see we have a few changes which i have to show you but the main change comes with the tail light as you can see here the design of the tail lights have changed Mercedes has gone for a more slim design when talking about it the shape overall hasn't changed but in the inside the lightning is way different now very slim and cool looking I love how they still kept the GLE Coupe DNA we have the additional rear spoiler here finished in exterior color GLE 53 badge Mercedes Benz Star and AMG badge finished in chrome and also here the rear diffuser unfortunately finished in plastic which I am not the biggest fan of I wish this was also finished in exterior paint or in black instead rear exhaust tips here are round shaped because we have the 53 models also finished in silver as we have no night package lovely definitely my spec how do you guys 
like the new look of the GLE 53 coupe rear leave it in the comment section below I really like it I love the stance I love the bodywork and I'm a huge fanboy and I think the GLE 53 AMG coupe is one of the best daily driver AMGs but anyways let's get it on and let's start talking about the inside and here we have it so we are right inside the all new GLE 53 facelift and there are also a few changes which I have to show you and the first change you can already see we have the updated AMG steering wheel here flat bottom AMG engraved side finished in Alcantara Dynamica and also the airbag cover which is always leather with the GLE and GLS models new shift pedals as you can see and also updated steering wheel buttons here with the new design we can switch from slippery to individual comfort sport and sport plus also with the 53 we don't have the race mode this comes only with the 63 on the left hand side you can change yeah the exhaust button we still have that yeah, lower the car AMG dynamics, suspension, manual. You have a lot of options here. You can literally control the entire vehicle just from the steering wheel unit and the steering wheel buttons. Memory keys, seats, settings on the side here, Bormesa speaker covers. We have heated and ventilated seats. And then we also have an update with the new MBUX. We have yeah, the latest update which makes the system so much easier to use. And we also have the off-road menu coming with the GLE now. GLE Coupe and GLE SUV, as we already had it with the latest GLC or the EQS, will be coming with the off-road menu. And you can literally go off-roading with this car. You have all the things you need. We have the downhill speed regulation. We also have the front camera and the invisible hood, which is really, really cool to have but I think 99% of all GLE customers won't even use their car to go off-roading. Uh, we have the full carbon fiber interior package, full leather package as well. On the top we also have a panoramic sunroof which looks pretty nice. I think it's also bigger than the previous one. Uh, the seats right over here, full black leather finish with the AMG emblem. On top as well, leather finish, Alcantara, nice design here, full black leather. Ambient colors, we have it surrounding us also right over here. This bar is something that I really love and is something that I miss on the EQS and the EQE SUV. I wish we also had that, uh, but I think it makes the GLE and GLS very special at that point. How do you guys like the new interior of the GLE 53 facelift? Would you guys go for this steering wheel or the old one? I definitely prefer the old one, but this one is pretty cool as well. I just find it too bulky, which is fine actually with the GLE, but with the other models it doesn't work in my eyes. What do you guys think? Share it in the comment section below. But now it's time to go ahead and start with the sound check. Oh, wait. Super Sport inside the 53. I think we never had that. It's also updated. Uh, let's get on and start with the sound check. Lowering the windows for you. Single glass. Three to one. Starting up the GLE 53. We also have a non OPF US spec here, so listen up. I also have the exhaust on, as you can see, with Sport Plus, you already have it on. I really like it. this is the 53 specific sound and while driving it sounds even better guys how do you like the GLE 53 sound let's step outside and listen to it from the outside as well let's go so now guys it's time to listen to the sound of the GLE 53 AMG coupe facelift from the outside as I mentioned we have a US spec here so we have no OPF and let's get on listen Oh, 
Okay, okay, okay. I have to say, it still sounds like a 53. I really like it and enjoy it. How do you guys like it? And while driving, it sounds even better. We'll show you that in the future. Let's get on and finish it off with a resume. So that's it basically for today's video. To be honest, I really like the facelifted version of the GLE 53 Coupe here in specific. How do you guys like it? The changes are very minimal and also very necessary. Talking about the rear tail lights, back in the days I didn't really like them that much, but now I am in love. Also with uh, the performance upgrades now going from 0 to 100 in 5 seconds instead of 5.3 seconds. It's pretty cool and impressive. How do you guys like it? How do you like the exterior, the interior, the sound? Leave it all in the comment section below. I'm already looking forward to see you all again and wish you an amazing day. I will be back.